Happy St. Patrick's Day! <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day, my friends. Happy St. Patrick's, Happy Saint Saint Patrick's, Saint Patrick's Day, Day. The president celebrated St. Patrick's Day by inviting Ireland's prime minister to the White House, where he got a little sentimental. As we stand together with our Irish friends, I'm reminded of that proverb, and this is a good one. This is one I like. I've heard it for many, many years, and I love it. Always remember to forget the friends that proved untrue, but never forget to remember those that have stuck by you. That's very nice. That's very sweet. <laughs> very sweet thought. Only problem, uh, Trump's favorite Irish proverb uh, is not a proverb. Uh, <laughs> it's a poem, and it's not from Ireland. It's uh, written by a Nigerian poet <laughs> named, wait for it, Al Bashir Al Hassan. <laughs> I'm surprised Trump even allowed that poem into the country. <laughs> but Irish, Irish, Nigerian, it's an honest mistake. As the Irish say, que sera, sera. <laughs> And you can get other great Irish proverbs just like the one Trump read in Donald Trump's Book of Bigly Irish Sayings. Our first Irish proverb comes from great Irish poet uh, W.B. Yeats, who wrote, When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's Irish. <laughs> and of course, George Bernard Shaw, who so famously said, I like big butts and I cannot lie. And Begora. Mm. This next proverb is just listed as traditional. We don't know who wrote it, uh -huh. but it's, uh -huh. very, it's very, very famous. Oh, cool. uh, you better call Becky with the good hair. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. That's black Irish. Right. I that is black that. Irish. I'm familiar right there. with that. And Irish. finally, here's one by St. Patrick himself. Baruch ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech, O'Brien. That's a... It's a much shorter book than I thought. Yeah.